welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. and welcome back to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. Today I am going to make some salmon with some butternut squash and some asparagus. So let's get started. So I got three salmon fillets because Kevin does not eat salmon so he's going to have leftover pizza. Yay! Yay what? Pizza! Now you can cook your salmon. I'm going to cook it on top of the stove. You could do it in the stove, on the grill, many different ways. I'm going to cook it on top of the stove, and you can cook it in my two favorite oils is olive oil or coconut oil. And Megan is trying to do all organic stuff, so this is organic cooked coconut oil. So that is what I'm going to use right now. And and I'm going to put that on the stove to melt down. And then I will add my salmon fillets to that. And what I'm going to do to my salmon fillets, of course you all know, I must stab them. Only because I love stabbing every type of meat we eat. Wait till the zombie apocalypse happens. We won't be eating the zombies, but they'll be stabbed a lot. And then I'm going to take a lemon, and I am going to slice one in half here. And I'm just going to squeeze lemon juice all over the salmon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the lemons. Ow! Lemon juice in a cut hurts! I'm going to slice the lemons thin. I'm not going to be able to get them too thin because of, I'm afraid to cut myself. And then I'm going to put these in my coconut oil because, in my pan, because the coconut oil is all melted down now. Yeah, that's, that's Boomer in the other room, if you guys didn't know that. Okay, so I'm putting the salmon into my frying pan, and I am turning the heat down on low. And then, Miss Megan's come to cause more distractions during my cooking show. Then I'm going to, no, 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 take this one. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to lay. Whoop, hold on, that one's got a sticker on. Sticker off. Don't put seeds on it. No seeds. Okay? No lemons growing in tummies. Are there any seeds in that one? Yes, there is. Okay. I just got informed that I'm not allowed to have seeds in the lemon. So I don't want seeds <laughs> growing in tummies. Then we wouldn't have to buy lemons anymore. How are you going to get it out? Um, I think this is, you know, not the channel to discuss that on. Oops. Then I'm going to put two pieces of lemon on each fillet. Um, you're making a mess of my cooking area. That noise you're hearing is popcorn, not my cooking. Salmon pops like that too. Megan, would you say your mother's a good cook? I was ruled on my shirt. Okay, Megan, would you say your mother's a good cook? Yes. Okay, and I need one more piece of lemon. Since these two are Carrots. thinly sliced, I'm going to use these two together. Carrots. So I put the salmon in the coconut oil, squeezed the lemon over it, and I put a, two slices of lemon on each piece. 
I'm also going to season it with some McCormick lemon pepper. Now, some of you have seen me make my asparagus on my regular channel, but I'm going to do it again. And what I do is I take my asparagus, fresh asparagus, not canned, and I'm going to chop the edges off, the ends off. Get a big knife for that one. Voila! I'm always dangerous with knives. I gotta have Josh from Presley's teach me how to use knives properly. Then I'm going to rinse them off a little bit and put them in this bag. Now that you got them all in the bag, this one I do use olive oil for. You pour a generous amount of olive oil into the bag. And you can use any type of seasonings you wish to use on this. I always like to use my onion powder. Throw a good amount in there. My basil and my garlic powder. And again, throw a generous amount in there. And then the other thing I like to do is add some nuts to it. So you can do any type of nuts, but with Megan's program that she is on, she's trying to stick to certain things. So I have almonds in here. So I'm just going to crush up my almonds and leave some pretty nice sized pieces and chop them real small, whatever you desire. And then you're going to pour those into your bag of asparagus. Then you're going to close your bag. And you're going to mix that all together. Make sure it gets on all of it. And then I always line a pan with um, aluminum foil. Just makes for easier cleanup. You're going to Pour your asparagus out on your pan. Ta -da! And then you're going to lay it so it's flat. You can see there's a whole pile of nuts here, so I'm going to just kind of spread those out a little bit. And there you have your asparagus all laid out. And I bake this on 325 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, the next thing I'm going to make is I'm going to just slice some butternut squash and cook that on top of the stove as well. Now again, you could cook that in either coconut oil, olive oil, or any oil that you wish. Again, I'm trying to help Megan with uh, her organic stuff, so I'm going to use coconut oil. So I'm going to put a big thing of coconut oil in the pan so it gets started. And Here's my butternut squash. Ugh, I might need Kevin to help cut this one. Kevin, I think I need your help in the kitchen. So, with the assistance of my husband, he is helping me to cut my butternut squash. Can you cut them any thinner? I know, I'm a pain. I need them thin. How thin? Like, maybe even thinner than that. Like that, yeah. So you want to cut your butternut squash into thin pieces. Go! <laughs> no, he did not just do that. Should I take this label off? Yes. Can I cook the label? No, you can take the label off. Alright, here. No, that's my bad arm. <laughs> I'm a butternut squash. Keep going. So 
now what I'm doing is I'm taking the edges off of the butternut squash. Excuse me, that was rude. What? Wipe. Hey, don't wipe your hands on me! I'm taking the edges off of the butternut squash and then I'm going to put them into the coconut oil and let them cook a little bit on each side. I just added a little bit of sea salt to the oil, not directly to the squash. Okay, so I got the butternut squash all chopped up. I got some pieces cooking. The salmon is cooking. The oven is ready for the asparagus, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Put some more sea salt on top of the oil here that I'm using for my butternut squash. And again, you just want your butternut squash to be just soft enough. You don't want it falling apart, but you don't want it hard either. So I got four pieces in there cooking. I can actually throw another small piece in there. So let's do that. Let's check on the salmon. Oh, the salmon is cooking so nice. Smells really, really good, guys. Can't wait for it to be finished. So I asked how many people out there thought that Kevin should eat some salmon, but he also doesn't like butternut squash, so let us know, let me know in the comments below how many people think he should eat some butternut squash as well. Turns out really, really good this way. It's a great flavor. Boomer might like some salmon. Boomer doesn't eat people food. He would if I asked him to. You try and feed him people food all the time and he never eats it. And you know it. Here is one piece of the butternut squash. I'll bring it closer. One piece of the butternut squash all cooked. Look at that. It looks so yummy. I want to eat it now. But I won't, because I will wait for dinner. Okay, everyone, so here is the asparagus. Oh, cooked. Doesn't that look delicious? Can't wait to have that. And the salmon is done. I'll put mine on my plate so I can show it to you guys. Here is what the butternut squash looks like. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. So I'm going to throw a couple of pieces of that on my plate. Then, of course, we have our lovely asparagus. So I need my little tongs. So I can put some asparagus on my plate as well. Okay, baby, come get yours. And Kevin is get his, getting his dinner, his gourmet dinner. Pizza! Bon appetit. It's good. Everything tastes yummy. Here's one. Asparagus. Asparagus. Didn't want to get in my mouth. <laughs> Here's a piece of butternut squash. Mm -hmm. And some dead fish. A piece of salmon. Maybe that's why she's out here. She smells the salmon. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. I'd say it's another hit. Brian's gonna come down and get his because he can eat now. So, uh, we'll have to see what he thinks. Yay. Pizza!